Hello students, hello viewers. Welcome to Senior College Mathematics. Topic of discussion is trigonometric graph. Lesson 7, Selected Problems, Part 4. In this part, we have example 4. Using the same axis, a scale of 1 cm to 30 degrees on theta axis, and two centimeters to one unit on y axis draw the graphs of the following relations a y equal to sine theta b y equal to two sine theta c y equal to one over two sine theta we have three in one graph and because all we have here is the sine function the range of values is zero degrees to 360 degrees this scale indicates that the interval here is 30 degree remember i said in lesson one and two that sometimes the interval to be used can be extracted from the given scale. You can see that here now. So we have the values of theta from 0 degrees to 30, 60, and 360 degrees. This is what happened. For sine theta, you check the sign of values for each of them. So sine 0 degrees is 0, sine 30 degrees is 0 0.5, and so on. Now, what you do here is that you check sine 0 degrees and multiply it by 2. Not this, not this value here, some are approximated. So to avoid error, you use the original values. When you come here, you check sine 60 degrees and multiply it by 2. To 1 dp, you have 1.7. You check sine 90 degrees, multiply it by 2. You check the, the, the sine first before 2 multiply. Because 2 here is a coefficient. So you have 2.0. You check sine 210 degrees, you get the answer multiply it by 2 you have minus 1 you check sine 300 degrees you multiply it by 2 you have minus 1.7 the, the the third function is 1 over 2 sine theta the same thing you check sine 0 degrees and divide it by 2 1 over 2 sine theta simply means sine theta divided by 2. You check sine 120 degrees divide it by 2. You have 0 0.4 to 1 decimal place. You check sine 270 degrees and divide it by 2. You have minus 0 0.5 degrees. You check sine 300 and 30 degrees divide it by 2 you have minus 0 0.3 so we have all the values for the three functions next is to plot them one after the other so we are to plot the first function y equal to sine theta the given scale is 1 centimeter to 30 degrees on theta axis and 2 centimeters to 1 unit on y axis. The scale implies that one line is 0 0.1 units on y axis and 6 degrees on theta axis. So 2 cm to 1 unit on y axis, here is 2 cm, you give it 1. 
the next two cm becomes two when you go downward from the origin you have negative one cm to 30 degrees on theta axis so here should be 30 and here is 60 in order not to have too many points that, that, that are too close to together i have to skip some but their spaces are reserved for them though you skip them for example I've, I've, I've shown you from 30 to 60 to 90 and so on next thing is to plot the values when theta is zero degrees y is zero that is sine theta is zero so you plot it at the origin here when theta is 30 degrees y is 0 0.5 this is 30 now this is 0 0.5 for y when theta is 60 degrees y is 0 0.9 very close to 1 you plot it in this point when theta is 1 to 0 degrees y is 0 okay i've dropped 90 now when theta is any degrees y is 1 that is this point for 120 degrees 0 0.9 it follows for 150 degrees 0 0.5 follows for 180 degrees you have 0 you plot that one directly on the theta axis when theta is 210 degrees you have minus 0 0.5 that is somewhere here when theta is 240 degrees 0 0.9 negative next when theta is 270 degrees you have minus 1 that is somewhere here when theta is 300 degrees you have minus 0 0.9 somewhere here when theta is 330 degrees y is minus 0 0.5 that is somewhere here and when theta is 360 degrees you have zero you plot that directly on the theta axis the same pattern we have as in lesson okay that should be lesson three yeah lesson one and three okay, lesson one and four lesson one and four we have the same pattern next is to join the points together before plotting the next function all right the first function y equal to sine theta all the points have been joined together so this table of value now is for the second function you can see there two sine theta you follow the same analysis the same counting problem when theta is zero degrees y is also zero you have it at the origin when theta is 30 degrees y is 1 that is what you have here when theta is 120 degrees that is somewhere here you have 1.7 that is the point you have here and other points in that manner until you get to 300 and 60 degrees at that point theta okay, at that point y is zero that is what you have here before the third function you need to join all the points together so here all the points for the second function y equal to two sine theta have been joined together then we take the third function that is y equal to 1 over 2 sine theta the approach is the same 
you count the 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 values accurately notice that on the y axis one line is 0 0.1 so for 00, zero you have the origin when theta is 30 degrees y is 0 0.3 you count the third line from the origin so somewhere here you have 0 0.3 when theta is 60 degrees you have 0 0.4 very close to it when theta is 180 degrees you also have zero that is this point when theta is 300 you have 0 0.4 negative you trace that point very close that is somewhere here you plot that and when it is 360 okay, when it is 300 okay 300 is here this is 300 then 330 0 0.3 negative that is somewhere here and 360 is zero you have it directly on the theta as is lastly you have to join all the points for the third function together so here you can see the complete graph for the three functions the, the, the upper one is for y equal to 2 sine theta the middle curve is for y equal to sine theta and the third curve from up and the first curve from bottom no, the negative part now you have y equal to 1 over 2 sine theta so you can see it is step by step approach if you want to plot the three functions at the same time it will be confusing after you plot the first one you join the points together before you plot the second one you join the points together and the third one follows hello end of lesson seven thanks for watching and learning don't forget watch out for more from the voice of peter Kors. if you are not safe your life is in crisis to avoid that you give your life to the one that can save you and that is the lord jesus christ and you confess him as your lord and personal savior every day of your life if you are saved already congratulations live righteously and be prepared because on the last day some will be taken and some pieces will be left take good care of yourself stay out of trouble study your books do the needful at all times flee every appearance of evil don't defraud others to make money use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and legally and the lord will bless you good Bye.